I'm going to demonstrate something here that we find all too often, rebound damping that is just cranked up too far because apparently if you make everything stiff you go faster around a racetrack. So to get a perception of feel you need to press on a solid object somewhere coinciding with the seat and we'll now press on that and try and move it as far as possible and hopefully you'll see that the rebound damping, the return speed is pretty lethargic. Basically to a trained eye or with a little bit of practice you can see that that is way too slow. The effect of that is you're not going to find grip on the down ramp of bumps and generally the bike is just going to feel terrible. It's going to spin up coming off the turns especially if it's a high horsepower bike simply because the tyre can't find the track. Rebound is not only about control of the rear end and preventing wallow, it's also about finding traction. If there's only one adjuster on a shock, the most important adjuster to have, to have is absolutely a rebound adjuster. We've now adjusted the rebound setting to a clicker setting that I know will be way more suitable and we'll now bounce on it again. And compared to the first presentation where we had it way too slow, you should now hopefully be able to see that it's returning quickly. The criteria is to have it returning as quickly as possible without having after cycles. I'd like to reinforce at this point that where you end up with rebound damping setting is pretty much exactly the same on track and on road. It doesn't matter what speed you're travelling at, the tyre still has to find the road and re-extension after you've traversed bumps.